Video games are a huge part of the world. Pop culture, society, and even people are shaped through them. The gaming community doubled from what it was just a couple of years ago. It went from 3.1 billion hours of watch time in 2020 to 6.3 billion in 2021. Combine that and wrestling and we get a channel that would transcend beyond the ring. Up Up Down Down, the YouTube channel that sees the larger than life characters of WWE be chill human beings. The host is Austin Creed, a future first ballot Hall of Famer as part of the New Day. Honestly though, he might have a case for going in twice, for what he did, for pro wrestling, the culture, and video games. So today, I want to look at how Xavier Woods, aka Austin Creed, has made himself a sure future Hall of Famer through video games. It is very hard to watch SmackDown, see Xavier come out, and not pair the two in your mind, especially with the colorful clothes and channel logos he has on there. One of Woods' hats is that he is a video game guy. He seems to have a genuine passion for gaming and for more obviously, wrestling. In 2015, the Up Up Down Down channel was started, and well, nothing was the same. The channel saw videos on the channel like Gamer and Gauntlet and Superstar Safe Point. Gamer Gauntlet being just a fancy way of saying superstars playing video games together. Big E and Seth Rollins battling it out in UFC, Samoa Joe and Kofi Kingston battling it out in Tekken. Even the gear designer got to be the first up up down down champion. When you watch these, it's like a random group of people talking and screaming into the mic while you wait in the lobby. These videos get loud. <laughs> It definitely shows off their personality and gets the superstar over with fans, which is great for someone who might be struggling with their character on screen. This channel is pretty much another show like Raw or SmackDown or Main Event or NXT or NXT UK or 205 Live or Velocity to show your personality. This is clearly something Xavier Woods pushes too, because he likes to get to know the people. He encourages them not to talk about wrestling. His superstar save point videos are literally dedicated for this. He usually brings a single guest on and starts by giving them a nickname. The superstars pick the nickname, so there are for sure some wild ones. For example, Angelo Dawkins is Nick, Knack, Patty, Whack, Give a Dog a Bone, Leave Me Alone, I'm in the zone. It kind of reminds me of... Don't get on here rapping! Do not get on here rapping. I will kick you off so fast. What's up? Don't get on here rapping. I'm stacking, making it happen. Little things like this say a lot about a person. The rest of the episode is pretty much a video game Q&A of sorts. They just play video games and talk about their upbringing and interests. With all this, the reason I said nothing was the same is because honestly, after this, WWE superstars started to show more of themselves. You could attribute this to just social media and the business aspect of that as a whole, but really in 2014 and before, I feel like it was rare to know as much about the wrestlers and see more of their out of character personality. Nowadays, there's all types of podcasts, interviews, and talk shows, but I'm calling it right now. Up Up Down Down changed the game and paved the way for things to be more open with superstars. I will say WWE do produce this show, so a lot of it is probably their say on who they want to get over but something tells me woods has a lot to do with how the channel goes besides just being the host this has opened doors for superstars like the new day getting skins in a video game xavier woods becoming a host on another gaming show and has allegedly changed the culture of the whole locker room wrestlers have said that instead of doing things like drinking and hazing people they much rather sit down and play video games nowadays woods also collaborates with other wrestling content creators who aren't linked to wwe this whole channel feels like a fourth low-key brand. Sorry, 205 Live. It shows too with people's careers. There's a running gag where people say that Tyler Breeze was only with WWE because of Up Up Down Down. Now listen, my boy Tyler Breeze, in my opinion, a heck of a talent. But the video series Battle of the Brands and his Uno videos with The Party, consisting of Adam Cole, Cesaro, Tyler Breeze, and Xavier Woods, really helped him get over with people like me. When he eventually parted ways with WWE, he returned not too long after just to do up up down down which he's still doing today at the end of the day i'm sure xavier woods gets paid for doing this and there's a lot of things that aren't completely his but he has been the host of this show for seven years and is still consistently hosting and putting work into the channel wwe's hall of fame is based on a wrestler or faction's contribution to wrestling with this much impact i'm sure he will go into the hall of fame for his video game contributions just as much as he will for the new day 
Honestly guys, I really enjoyed making this video. The reason it popped into my head is because Up Up Down Down is always in my recommended because I watch a lot of WWE videos, but Up Up Down Down is honestly a pretty cool thing when you really think about it. So I figured making a video about it was worth it. And let me know, do you guys think it's enough to get Xavier into the Hall of Fame by himself? Leave it in the comments below. Uh, there's gonna be another video up here if you guys wanna watch another one of mine. Thank you. Rest in peace to party. I'm out.